So today we have an in-house repair job. My uh, lovely apprentice has already had a crack at repairing this, as you might notice. Um, so I have a little bit of work to do there. Um, however, the more fundamental problem with this is this is what supplies sound to our uh, main TV, of which my apprentice is very adamant about getting back again. So uh, this is a fairly cheap little iPod dock unit. Uh, this one was actually donated to me in a non-working repair. And when I got it, there was a problem with this little connector here. Now, the main trouble we're experiencing is that these tactile switches don't appear to respond very much. Um, and I'm not sure if that's like a dry capacitor or if there's actually a physical contact problem um, on that top unit. The other interesting thing we have is the amplifier is buried way down in there. There's not much way to get to it. I'm really hoping that this little screw-on panel here will give me some more access to the actual amplifier circuit itself. And we might be able to uh, either jerry-rig some solution or uh, at least replace some tactile switches. I have quite a few spares in the junk pile over there. So let's see how we go and what happens when I start pulling some screws out. So, first order of duty, and uh, in the interest of working smarter and not harder, taking a look at this circuit board from the uh, top unit here. Just because it's the easiest to access, and I can see from the screws here that somebody has been here before me, and there's a bit of excess solder here and some dry solder joins. Some pretty bodgy work that doesn't look like it's come out of the factory. It's even bodgier than factory work. That and the stripped out state of these screws Certainly not something that uh, is my handiwork. There's some little transistors and stuff here. I think if I start just cleaning up this circuit board, we might see some results. Uh, it also will allow me to tack some little leads on and uh, test if these tactile switches are actually working. So far, I'm quite happy that I've removed this um, because I've just checked on these two and I'm pretty sure this switch is not working. Well, make a liar out of me. That tactile switch actually is working. Could be that I had uh, my multimeter on the wrong setting. However, that's far from an actual short. If I wriggle this, I'm getting some unreliable results. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, tack these switches down with some fresh solder and see what happens. Okay, let's see how this goes. Clean the iron. I've already pre-tinned my iron. I'm just going to reflow all these just with a little bit of fresh flux core solder here. This is not great, but should at least prove the point. It is a little awkward because I'm reaching around a camera here. It's trying to get a different angle to give you guys a better view of what goes on with this. And we'll get some contact cleaner and clean all of this up shortly. Right, any other contacts that need a little bit of attention, maybe these guys. Let's see what we've got going here. Actually I need to probably plug in some air but I haven't got them connected. Should connect my extraction fan up. And breathing lead fumes is not that good for you. Although I did get my lead levels checked the other day. I'm about in the mid-range for a lead industry worker. That tells me there is actually a reasonable amount in my bloodstream and heavy metals such as lead are cumulative too so I may at some point need to undergo some chelation therapy but at the moment it's not causing me too many issues though I do have MS so I have a theory that those things may be connected but we'll look at that at some point in the future. For now, I have electronics to fix. Just any join here that doesn't look quite right is just getting a new little dose of tiny little bit of fresh solder just to help reflow that joint. Let's see how we go here. Okay. All right. Let's see how we go with this. Well, it looks like this might have done the job. I've just plugged this board in to test it and I'm checking the function button and that seems to be working and that's really all we need for the purposes that I'm using 
I just need to be able to select the auxiliary input. I did uh, actually take some electronic circuit board cleaner. This is just some stuff from Super Cheap Auto that was cheap. Super cheap, in fact. So, uh, yeah, I was just cleaning a bit of flux off and redoing some joins. And uh, because there are some little surface mount transistors here, what I suspect has happened, there's been some flux has got between the gate on that and uh, caused one to stay on, which has just disrupted that whole cycling and or the whole switching circuit in there. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go over to where I've got this plugged in. I'm going to turn it off for a moment and then we'll just turn this thing back on again and see if it comes out of standby again. Okay, it's previous fault too is that some days it would go into standby and then not come out of it no matter how many times you push the switch. That seems to be behaving quite nicely even with my fingers on the back of the circuit board now. So I think that's a successful repair. We'll go and put that back in service. I might even laser cut some little grills for the front. There we go. It looks a little agricultural, but uh, function before form, I always say. Now, uh, you might notice that the design I drew up had little tabs on the side. Well, um, silly me, forgot to account for the width of the unit. So I've thrown some square drive Robertson screws in here. I very roughly trimmed those tabs off, just simply because I didn't want to go to the process of having to recut all of those. Probably wouldn't have taken very long, but for something I've got for free that really only plays the wiggles, and uh, I'm not really going to worry too much. But in any case, uh, let's go plug it in. Oh, well, that all done, it looks like it's working. So I fixed the audio leads, and uh, the annoying 50 hertz buzz is going away. 
and by the sound of that noise in the background my apprentice has busted another keyboard so I think I'm gonna have to go fix that next anyway thanks for watching hopefully uh, we'll see you again soon